to our room. This is so excited. Tomorrow is the Khabib McGregor fight. We got tickets. We are here Woo! with Bart and Gio. They just checked into their room they right next door. They were pooping and hollering too. I know, we could hear them through the wall. Oh man, it's not that soundproof. The ceiling is so freaking far from me. I feel so tiny. What? That is so cool. We have so much room to walk in. We, just, we can like, we can jog in here. Like this is crazy. <laughs> Utilize the room. I know. Oh my god, I'm dizzy now. Check out the bathroom. The bathroom oh, yeah. is also another thing. That's like one of the main... Look at this closet. This is extravagante. I'm gonna lock you in there. Just kidding. Whoa! Oh, two sinks. You know what sucks? They could have given them that room and we could have connected our room. Maybe someone's staying over there right now. Mmm, whack. Wow, we can poop in private while I do my makeup or shower. Anyways, back to serious talk. Who do you got? Khabib or McGregor? I don't know, this is serious. I'm not it's even into serious. this sport. So I can't really have an opinion if I'm not really into the sport. But you know the characters that are involved. See, see, part of the reason why I like this stuff so much is not because of the fighting part. It's more about like the characters that these fighters create for themselves and that's what There's I love. There's a TV in our bathroom. I just noticed that. <laughs> That's cool. Sorry, I interrupted you. <laughs> that was that threw me off. But yeah, the so part of what I love about the combat sports world is uh, the characters that these fighters create for themselves, and McGregor has done that so beautifully. I know. I, Honestly, I love like, it. From whatever little that I do know, I really am going for it. McGregor more because he just seems like such a likable guy. Yeah, yeah, for better or for worse, he's still really likable. And the fact that he's like so ballsy that he decided like, yeah, I'm gonna even do boxing and I'm gonna fight Mayweather. I'm like, that's so cool. Like no one has done that. You say you didn't know anything. I mean, that's, I, still that's a lot more I think than most I feel like that's work. common knowledge. That's why I feel Is like it? I don't know okay. a lot. But, and then like, I don't know, and then the fact that like whatever little you tell me, like how he's been with the same girl all this time, and like, oh, it's true. she's like sticking by his side through like the thick and thin, it's pretty cool. Yeah. I really like his story, and I don't know anything about Khabib, so. He has a very likable story too, I, I like his story too. I just like how he was so like tough, like with McGregor, with the whole chair and the bus, and he was just like, if you want to talk to me, come talk to me, I'll give you my place, and you can come meet me up. Yeah. Like, that's tight. Hey, you know a lot of this stuff. Oh, okay, so given that, you pick McGregor? Yeah, I would. I would pick McGregor. True. So, let's see who wins. We have visitors. Hola. Hola. Oh. Hello. Oh, I wish that? we had this. More like I know that'd be so cool. cool. <laughs> be like a slumber party. Yeah. You oh, can spin around. You can just wibble it. <laughs> Oh, okay, there's a limit. I have just realized that I have like some sort of caffeine addiction because for the last couple weeks, I have been having headaches, like caffeine withdrawal headaches. And that never happens to me. And I only drink one cup of coffee a day. I never drink more than one cup. And somehow that has made me caffeine dependent. And now that we're walking around, my head is like pulsating. I'm like, oh man, I need a cup of coffee. So that's what we're doing right now. We're on a mission to find a little cafe where we can just have some desserts and drink some coffee. Oh, we found it. Ta-da! Oh, 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 <laughs> So we're going pumpkin today? We're going on a pumpkin you know, streak this entire fall. I know I do want that pumpkin latte. I'm a basic girl, okay? I love pumpkin stuff. But I don't know about the pumpkin cheesecake because I just made one and I have like a lot at home. I'm kind of like, let me save that pumpkin cheesecake flavor for when I go back home. Mm, not bad. 
You're like the pumpkin connoisseur now. <laughs> I'm not a connoisseur of anything in life ever, of anything. <laughs> I'm just like a, I don't know, kind of girl. Good enough. That's how I am too. <laughs> That's why we make a good couple. Yeah. We married each other. <laughs> You're good enough. I'm good enough. <laughs> Oatmeal cookie. Do you like oatmeal cookie? I know you do, but I mean, I guess I'm asking the people that are watching. Do you guys like oatmeal cookie? You don't care about my opinions? Are you kidding me? It's not that I don't care, it's that I know what you're gonna say because I'm your wife and I know you. So do I like oatmeal cookies or no? You do. Don't you? I do, and actually they're my favorite cookies. See, I told you I know you. Okay, How fine. are you gonna get offended over everything? I'm not. Well, I wanted to ask like, if you guys like oatmeal cookies because I grew up always loving them and people always hated them saying like, oh, I hate oatmeal cookies. They're, they're always like, you pick up a cookie, you think it's a chocolate chip cookie, but then you find out it's oatmeal and it's disgusting. And I'm like, why? Yeah, I never understood that. It's so good. I, like I the love opposite it. Effect. I love the raisins. I actually don't like chocolate chip cookies that much. Oh, maybe I should make oatmeal cookies next. Yes, that's what it is. Yeah, I remember all my friends growing up would say, if you ever want to bite to a cookie that tastes like a grandma, get oatmeal cookie. Raisins are delicious. Oatmeal is delicious. I don't care what anyone says. I don't like walking in public with bars sometimes. <laughs> what well, is he doing? I mean, honestly, he can get away with it in Vegas because everyone just thinks he's drunk really early. True, true. Now we're walking towards the T-Mobile Arena because you wanted to check it out to see what it's all about. Hey, that right? <laughs> we haven't started drinking yet. This is Vegas. Like, I feel like we gotta start drinking soon. It's almost 7 p.m. Like, come on. Doing. I haven't started drinking yet because I'm looking for that proper 12. Proper 12. Proper number 12. Look at that! Kabi! Huge UFC thing over there. We're here! We made it to the T Mobile Arena the day before the fight. The day before the storm. Tomorrow, this is gonna be madness. I'm excited for you because I know this means a lot to you. Woo, look at this! Shirt to support tomorrow. Do you want to buy a shirt? Nah. <laughs> All right, so we're about to witness some history tomorrow. Let's get some predictions real quick for the fight. Bart McGregor. Why me for you? For okay, okay. McGregor. Or um, Khabib. Okay, logically Khabib, but my heart, and I'm gonna go with my heart, McGregor. I've been a McGregor fan since I heard of him, so I'm gonna just stick with him. McGregor. Okay, one McGregor. What about you, Tiff? Ladies first. Ah, uh, well I said earlier, cause um, I just, I really like whatever I know about McGregor. Honestly, like when he fought Mayweather, he won my heart because it's like, no one does that. So I'm like, I want him to win. But honestly, Khabib looks like he can really kick butt. So, I don't know. Two McGregors. And he's more handsome. Bart. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, what about you, Bart? Okay, same answer as Gio. My heart says, McGregor, my brains is Khabib, but if I had to put my your house, my house here <laughs> is crazy. Ooh, I'd have to go. I would just have to say McGregor because I've seen him pull miracles, and he's crafty, and he does this thing like. Ooh, ooh, and it's so ooh. fun to watch, right? I love it. I just like seeing him move. He just moves yeah, around crazy. So he's so slippery. But I don't know. It's hard to say. <gasps> That's three McGregors. What do you think? I think McGregor just because I don't know. I've been so back and forth on this. What's my McGregor shirt then? I don't have the money. <laughs> you said you don't have money? I spent the money on the tickets. <laughs> True. Oh, he spent a lot on tickets. Oh, the tickets are expensive. Oh. Yeah. Team Ireland. Proper 12. <laughs> <laughs> Not a brand deal. <laughs> I but I wish. I wish. I wish. That'd be awesome. We decided to eat Irish food for dinner tonight. In an Irish pub. In an Irish pub with Irish alcohol. Irish cider. Nice. Cheers to everyone here. Where did it get drunk? Where did it get the baby? You guys are babyless. We're kidless. Yeah, parents gone wild. Irish bread. We got everything. Oh, Irish air, Irish. Uh, air? Oh, I should have asked them if they had proper 12. Oh, quick yes. question. Do you guys uh, by any chance have proper 12 whiskey here? We will try before yes. the weekend ends. 
What just arrived? Proper 12. But I'm really excited to drink it. I've been told there's a lot of, there's a scent of vanilla in here. I don't smell it, I just smell whiskey. <laughs> Catching a bad time. I don't know. That's so weird. Like just out of nowhere, I needed to cough. We're about to go have breakfast, and then after breakfast, we're gonna go write some. <laughs> It's so fun. I know. We're ready for the fight. This is the moment we've been waiting for. So we're gonna go meet Bart and Joe right now in the hallway and we're gonna have an early dinner before heading over to the arena. Oh my this is so good. I got the salmon and it's really delicious. Did you get it well done? I got medium. Medium? You wanna try it? Al dente salmon. Al dente salmon. We're at the arena! There's a lot of McGregor fans, a lot of Irish flags everywhere. Woo, we're finally here! You're so excited. I was super excited. For the past two months, I've been like reading up on everything I, I can find out about McGregor and Khabib Nurmagomedov. I love how you had to say his last name just Khabib to prove Nurmagomedov. that you practiced I'm a, that I'm a super fan geek boy. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know, I'm a loser. No, you're not a loser. It's cute. You're passionate. I love it. All right, so this is my first UFC fight I've ever been to. And it's crazy how many aggressive ass people there are here. Everyone's like almost like ready to throw down. Like all the fans are like, if you say one wrong thing about Conor McGregor. Because they're like, you're with that side, I'm not with that side. And then you throw in some beer and they're like, oh, what? And then they fight. The perfect storm. Thank you. 
shaking, man. What just happened? Oh, Dylan Danis. safe than sorry. A lot of drunk people here, a lot of angry fans, a lot of, a lot of angry fans. angry Irish drunk people fans that are angry. 